To win the game, you really need to think strategically. And that's exactly what I needed to make a transition in my career too. Before I came to the DeMore McKim School of Business, I was working at a corporate communications and PR firm. It was all very tactical, executional work. I was really aspiring to think strategically about a brand and develop it and plan it for the long run. Getting into a full-time MBA program was my segue into transitioning from the agency side to the client side. Hasbro is an amazing company. We started 90 years ago as a toy and game company, and we've really grown up to be an entertainment company for families, kids, adults. So in the corporate residency program, it's about participating in both the tactical work, but also the strategic work. So when you come to work at Hasbro, you really get a chance to impact the business and where we're going in the future. I got to work on an international brand and the launch of that brand in the US. So this was more strategic. It was more long term. It was more forward thinking. That's a project that I owned during my corporate residency at Hasbro. And that really gave me a sense of confidence and ownership. Towards the end of my residency, I was offered the opportunity to come back and actually work for Hasbro full time. Huma will be working on the Monopoly business and we're very excited to have her join. Whenever I look for new people coming onto my team, I'm looking for passion, most importantly, and an entrepreneurial spirit. Someone who's willing to take the business as their own and drive that business like it's their own. Going to DeMore McKim School of Business and pursuing a full-time MBA helped me acquire that global mindset. It's the people I've met, um, the amazing professors that I worked with, all the hard skills and soft skills that I learned, and then the exposure that I got through working at Hasbro. That's something I'm really grateful for, and that's something that I'm definitely going to take away from my full-time MBA. <laughs>